So what do those numbers mean when you order one of these things? <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> I've only been buying crucibles for three years now and I didn't know what they meant. I remember a while ago, multiple years ago, I asked uh, Mount Martin, old founder man, what they meant and he told me, well, you know, that's the weight in, weight in, the weight in, weight in kilograms of brass, okay? Ugh, hard, easy for me to say, right? So I buy these crucibles uh, they are from a company called PMC Supplies, and that is a, apart from their Procast line of crucibles, this is identified as a Procast 4-6 kg clay graphite crucible. And I often wondered, well, what does the 4 mean? Because when you look at these crucibles, they always have two numbers. They've got like a number sign, dash, some number in kilograms, and it's, the number sign is always smaller than the kilograms, like by two a lot of times. Like, what's the deal? Why, wh why is this a number four dash six? I don't get it. Well, the other day I had a guy, uh, Matt M1186 on Instagram. He asked me the same question. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, right? So I went ahead and wrote to PMC, and they answered. <laughs> Imagine that. They answered me. They said that that means four pounds of aluminum or six kilograms of brass. At which point I said, duh. Because that symbol right there, guys, if you're in North America, it doesn't always mean number. Sometimes it means pounds. We write that pound sign. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'm a program, I'm a software guy, and that's pound. That's the pound symbol. <laughs> that's what we call it. And I never could oh, I never put two and two together. So that number four pounds dash six kilograms. Well I got to thinking, well it would be nice to know still Okay, that weight is, that's fine. What about volume? How much is that in volume? Because a lot of times, you know, my models and stuff, they'll tell me a volume and it'd be nice to know if my crucible is actually going to fill the pattern after I make it. So it's pretty easy uh, to actually calculate the volume that each of these metals will hold, um, take up. I say it's easy now, <laughs> but I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> But I got a smart buddy named James, and he helped me out today, and it really is pretty simple. Um, so here's the deal. You have to know the specific gravity first to, to calculate the volume of metal that each of those weights represents. A specific gravity is a ratio of um, one density compared to another density. So we typically uh, use water as the other density. Uh, and water has a specific gravity of one. And what that means is one cubic centimeter, one cc of water, weighs one gram. That's the density of, that, of water, one. Well, so you get these other numbers like the density of um, brass. I'm going to cheat and look at my notes here. <laughs> I'm going to cheat and look at my other notes here. <laughs> The uh, specific gravity of brass is somewhere around 8.55. That means brass is eight times denser than water. And you probably knew that, right? You, I mean, just you didn't maybe not know the numbers, but you definitely knew brass was denser than water. Uh, the specific gravity of aluminum is, I'm going to say, <laughs> about. It's about 2.675. <laughs> about to three decimal points. The reason I am being uh, kind of aboutish here and loose is you'll see different numbers on the web. You're going to see different values for the specific gravity, and it has to do with the different alloys. They weigh different amounts or different densities. I kind of picked an average. All right, so those are my numbers. 8.55 for brass, 2.675 for aluminum. Now, understanding that um, that number represents 
grams per cc, we can now calculate pretty easily the volume that that crucible will hold um, in cubic centimeters, in cc's. So if we take our 8.55 grams, let's just start with the brass, we take our 8.55 grams per cc, uh, we really want to convert that to kilograms. Everything else is in kilograms, so let's convert it to kilograms. To convert it to kilograms, you divide it by 1,000. So 8.55 becomes 0 0.00855 kilograms per cc, right? Much smaller number, but it's because we're talking about kilograms, not grams now. And then to calculate the volume that that takes, um, we can take our kilograms, which was 6, divide that by our 0 0.0085 kilograms per cc, that will give us um, a volume of 702 cc's. All right, remember that number, 702. I'll stick it, yeah, I'll put it right over there. Now, for aluminum, let me get my other notes here. Aluminum, we can do exactly the same thing, except that we have to go with um, we have to convert the pounds to kilograms. So there are 2.2 kilograms per pound. No, 2.2 <laughs> pounds per kilogram. This is why you don't want to convert. Just pick a numbering system, a, a system and use it, right? Conversion sucks. There are 2.2 pounds per kilogram. So that means our four pounds of aluminum actually weighs 1.81 kilograms. Uh, and we remember the specific gravity, it was 2.675, so we can do the same math again. The specific gravity in kilograms is going to be 0 0.002675 kilograms per cc. To calculate the volume um, that we need, we can say, our, we can take our 1.81 kilograms, divide it by our 0 0.00265 kilograms per cc, and we're going to get 678 cc's of metal in that cru of aluminum in that crucible. And what was that other number? 702 versus 6 what? 678? Those are darn close together, guys. They are really close together. So that tells me they were probably right. <laughs> Four pounds of aluminum does take up the same volume as eight or six kilograms of, of brass. Well, I got to thinking next, well, how can I figure out how much, how much I can put in this crucible, right? What does that really equate to in, in terms of volume within my crucible? You know, a lot of us do our patterns, we do them in 3D models and modeling software, and those, that modeling software will tell us the volume of our, our shape, right? Whatever we've modeled. And how would I know if that crucible is going to hold enough metal to fill the part that I'm about to cast? Well, it's not that difficult, right? This crucible, uh, it measures, let me get the numbers here, 11.2 centimeters across the top. And I estimated, based on the outside and everything, and the thickness of the walls, that the bottom of this crucible is about 84 um, millimeters, or 8.4 centimeters across the bottom. So 11.2 centimeters across the top, 8.4 across the bottom. Because it's not parallel, it's kind of conical shaped, I just took an average. I said, okay, it's, it's 9.8 centimeters average diameter. The height, this distance here, is 13.5 centimeters, all right? So to calculate the volume of a cylinder, it is going to be pi times the radius squared. Well, my, um, my radius at 98 centimeters, or 9.8 centimeters for diameter, is about 4.9 then, um, 4.9 centimeters for radius. So pi times 4.9 times 4.9 times the height, 13.5, gets me 1,018 cubic centimeters, right? I had three centimeters in there. 1,018 cubic centimeters. Well, that means, and I'm going to throw the word safely in here, that means I can safely fill this thing to about 70% of its volume, call it right about there, um, when I'm using it. And that makes perfect sense to me because if I start getting this metal up on the top, any little movement means it's coming over the side. 
if I have it down and around here, um, I've got some room for it to splash around if, it, if hopefully it's not splashing, but I've got a safety factor built in there. 70% of my volume, that's what this crucible is, appears to be rated at, okay? So, now you know, now I know, <laughs> kids stay in school, <laughs> math is important, <laughs> don't get old and forget like me, uh, and most importantly, as always, have a great day.